Hi guys, for this tutorial I'm going to show you how you can use your Android phone as an external monitor. Let's go! You're gonna be needing the following. Of course, your DSL camera. Next, your Android phone and USB cable. Also, for this, you're gonna be needing this adapter, a Type C to USB adapter, and then for mounting, you're gonna be needing this. It's actually two parts: the cold shoe and then the phone phone mount, and probably you also be needing this a mini tripod. Let me show you how it's done. First, first we connect the adapter to our USB cable. Then connect it to a port and I know attach our phone attach the phone to the cold shoe mount yeah attach it Then finally connect USB to the phone. Let's connect a touch tripod. So one of the most important recipe for this setup is the software, the QDSLR dashboard app, installed in our phone. So let's try turning it on right now. Once you turn on the camera, the software will automatically launch and we will have a, a live view using our phone. So this software will allow you have full control of the camera so here's your record on and off over here then you can control the ISO of shutter speed you can control your aperture And you can also control your ISO. So you can also control other settings of your camera over here. So here are other features over here. You can live view filter, you can put focus speaking. Fast. What else? Ooh. Tour. Like a disco. Yeah. And what else? Gray. Invert. And of course, straight off. You can see you can do focusing. Can focus on the ball and focus on the subject using touch okay all right 
So I think this is very useful, especially if your camera doesn't have that uh, tilting monitor and when you are doing vlogs, of course you can change how it's being set up. You can change the monitor facing front so you can like when you're blogging you can see yourself if you're, if you're in focus or not and there's a lot of things you can explore with this software so this software costs about I think the last time when I purchased it is about 10 bucks so probably price would be the same I'm go check it out I'll post the link below so you can also check it out and there's a lot of stuff that I haven't also explored but so far what I really need for for this software is the ability that for us to be able to use our Android phone as an external monitor so there you have it guys if you find this video useful please subscribe and like and share this video.